Welcome to the BAFTA Scotland New Talent Awards 2016. Tonight's awards are all about recognising, rewarding and celebrating great work from an array of new and emerging talent. All entered work was viewed by juries made up of around 50 industry professionals. In itself, this presents up and coming talent with, great, with a great opportunity to have commissioners, actors, writers and broadcasters view their work at this early stage of their careers. The feedback from the jurors has been extremely encouraging and a lot of them are actually here tonight. You don't even have to offer to buy them a drink because we will provide the complimentary drinks, which will be served at a bar behind there afterwards. So get networking at the after party. BAFTA Scotland continues to grow and expand and we want you to be part of it. All our nominees are eligible for student and career starter membership which gives access to BAFTA's weekly screenings and events in our year-round programme, so please do consider joining. Are you a recent college or university graduate still looking for a break in the industry? You could develop your skills by applying to be part of our newly launched scheme, Career Close-Up, in partnership with Skills Development Scotland. The first event is in a fortnight, directing drama with Brian Kelly, a Scot who has directed Torchwood, Downton Abbey and Outlander. All details about membership and these opportunities are on our website and social media. Talking of social media, um, feel free to tweet and Instagram tonight with the hashtag uh, NewTalent16. All of tonight's winners will be given a complimentary membership and a delegate pass to the Edinburgh International Film Festival, which takes place in June. You have literally no excuse. Let this new talent win be your impetus to get out there and sell yourself. Some brief thank yous to our supporters who have made this event possible. To the BAFTA Scotland Committee, led by Chair Sarah Walmsley. To Wire Media for our press and PR management and Material Works who created our fabulous design concept. To Creative Scotland, Channel 4 and the Galashian Trust, our overarching supporters of all our new talent initiatives. And to our other category and event supporters who are all listed on the screen tonight. To our Director John Smith, Floor Manager Charles Marks, Karen Rosie, Joe Fishwick at Edit123, MCL to Create, create and uh, Jess and our team here at the Drygate. And Muriel Gray, who is a legend, as we all know. And finally, to the team at BAFTA Scotland, Beverly McMillan, Emma Nicholson, and awards manager Jenna Cunningham. Thanks to their hard work and your hard work, we're about to enjoy a brilliantly diverse showcase for Scotland. Let's get started. I'll leave you with a wee overview of BAFTA Scotland during this past year. Enjoy and good luck. Thank you. David Balfour uh, is about as good at what he does as anyone I've ever worked with, and more so. For all of your great artistry and all of your personal touches, more on Ting and we all in York. That was Tim Burton, voiced by Sean Connery. Dorothy is a remarkable figure in the history of British television. She's a mentor, a disciplinarian. I certainly know when she rings me up and says, John, I'm sorry, they're not very happy about what you said on Twitter. Boy, do I listen. To be honoured in your homeland is really everyone's dream. The integrity, the focus, the passion, the dedication that he brings to playing a part inspires everyone around him. So the double honour of being back in Scotland to be given the award 
by my peers and from Bath to Scotland is deeply humbling and I thank you all very much. The shiny pants of BAFTA are on. They tell fantastic stories and they use emotion and that's the real, the real trick of factual programme. Does this make it easier to get a TV show now? Or... <laughs> Whip it up for your wonderful dominatrix for this evening, Muriel Gray. Woo! proving that BAFTA can have a piss up in a brewery. <laughs> As if I wasn't gonna make that gag. Okay, this is a tradition. Uh, house lights, please, it's for the selfie. Come on, thank you. Everybody has to wave and it will be tweeted. And so if you can see yourself, you have to do something really unusual. Are you ready? Are you ready to my nets? Oh, you Okay, right. Hang on a sec. That's not a good. Okay, right, okay. Right, go. Go. Okay. Okay, we're done. Good. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to New Talent Awards. It is so exciting because, as a friend of mine said, this is the only award ceremony where everybody's really pleased to be here. <laughs> about this is you have already won because you are a BAFTA nominee for the <laughs> for the very first piece of work that you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody likes a smart ass, okay? <laughs> First piece of work I did in the media, the only reward I got was my expenses form returned by the production manager because she knew I had a student rail card. <laughs> and it's not got any better than that, however. Never mind. I can still afford the ASOS online sale, so <laughs> not so bad. <laughs> so tonight we're going to see all your amazing work. We've got fantastic categories. I cannot believe how great you've all been this year. Honestly, I've watched all the um, entrants and I have been laughing out loud and snottering and crying into my popcorn. Actually, I'll lose that image. That was absolutely disgusting. But there's amazing pieces of work you're going to see, not just uh, in your own discipline, but in other ones. So it's just going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, you heard Jude talking about BAFTA. I'm just going to bully you a little bit more and say if you're not a member of BAFTA and you're in the industry, you really, really should think of joining it. There's all sorts of discounts you can get for being young and having nice skin tone. Uh, and so if you join it, honestly, it has amazing benefits, not just all the things that Jude outlined, but networking, everything. Join it! Join it before the end of the evening. Right, let's get going and see what we've got. The first one is for design. Now, this category, for those of you who don't know what design is, uh, that's the person that makes... Uh, uh, oh, by the way, we've got children tonight, haven't we? I'm just going to test 
the swearometer. Where are the children? The children? Okay, can I just test this with you? Is, is bloody all right? <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Then. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, the Desire uh, Award, Design uh, Children, and then, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, uh, that's the person who makes a shitty little room look absolutely incredible. Honestly, you cannot do without these people. They're utter geniuses, but they are the ones that also hold everything up while they put all the leaves back onto the tree. But we thank them later. So, to give the award for the best design is the amazing person from BBC Alba, who's going to do something quite special. Please welcome Fiona McKenzie. Good evening to you all. I'm delighted to be here. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What she said. What she said. <laughs> I couldn't quite strap my stuff like you, Muriel. It's off sale. Totally with you. Yeah, yeah. Woo Can I just take a moment to um, echo what Muriel said there? We're delighted to be amongst so much talent here. And I think um, to start off with your talent uh, being recognised by BAFTA, um, you're all off to a great start. So, um, ones to watch. All of you. So I'm um, here. It's also actually quite distressing because if you're handing out the awards, it means that you're getting old. Oh, 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 <laughs> awkward. <laughs> but that's what I'm here to do. So let's take a look at the nominees for best design. Stuff. So the award goes to Cara Roxborough. Very much. Um, I'd just like to say thank you, obviously, to 
uh, my parents and my family and all my friends in the audience and um, to Bath to Scotland as well. It's been awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. very gentle first speech if you want to raise the bar at any point become hysterical we don't mind carry on tweeting by the way hashtag new town 16 we love that we love that i was very impressed with fiona speaking i, I can actually speak uh, scots as well so uh, so that <laughs> award and that was uh, that was the award for best design <clears throat> that was it in scots <laughs> okay, um, the controversial. Okay, and next award is for editor. Now, uh, the editor again is the person who you has you know have no vitamin D in their body at all. They're locked in a little room and everything. And you can ask them to as many barbecues and parties as you like. They're just never going to come. But they will take your rushes, which are absolutely rubbish, and make a film out of them. So. To give the award uh, is, uh, is, oh by the way, this award is, uh, is uh, sponsored by the wonderful Edit123, who you will all come across at some point in your career, I hope. Uh, and one of our brightest young presenters is going to give this award. She was on the one show, only last week. It is, in fact, Jean Johansson. <laughs> to present uh, Best Editor, and here are the nominees. I actually think it's been a help in one way in my recovery. I mean, in reality, you know, I'm going to miss it because it's hard bitten in many ways, but it's actually got a genuine, real sense of community. Yes, it's. Uh, I feel proud to have been part of Hamilton Wind in, in a really, really strange way. <laughs> Chinese delivery. I do. I do pick the boiler. Scotland New Talent Award goes to Michal Dobiak for Yogi. <laughs> so first of all, I would like to say thank you. It's really it's, uh, it's a great award and really means a lot to me. It's just uh, proof I uh, took the right decision in my life and I went through filming. And I would just like to thank a few people who are actually with me here today. Uh, Mano, who Yogi, who helped me to do all of it. Uh, Wayne, who was helping with the camera. All my family who's here, and my girlfriend, and my friend, who came here to support me, and of course, uh, 
my teachers who told me how to do it, who told me how to edit. Fergus and Dominic, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Asos sale, but you guys get paid too much because I'm in Tesco. Oh, do you know that's got to be 30 club card points, surely? Thank you, thank you very much. Sad but true, sad but true. It's an honour to be here tonight in a room full of such amazing talent, and thank you to BAFTA Scotland as well for uh, inviting us along to present the awards. I know we were very excited when we got the invitation, we were indeed, but we'll stop talking now and we'll get on with the important part. So, should we have a look at the nominees?
Jennifer about that Tesco's dress. I just don't believe it at all. Have you, have you ever bought stuff online and you have to go click on catwalk and then you get this woman, she comes out and you just... <laughs> you cheapskate. <laughs> Up oh, years later, I got it for 19.99. Okay, we're going on to composer now, and um, this is the award for the person who makes the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music over wonderful things, or really scary music over things, or really funny music or anything. It's the person who the director goes, it's a sitcom, and they go, I want it to sound like Mahler. They go, no, but they're usually <laughs> right. They can change the entire, entire tone of the film. We've got such amazing people in Scotland, like people like Patrick Dill and Craig Armstrong, you know, we've just, honestly, we do this, we punch above our weight. So, to present the award for composer, it's uh, the, this is the award supported by PRS for Music, that, if you don't know, uh, is the, the, the people that come and break your legs if you play music <laughs> that you haven't paid for. So we always ask Stuart to do this, just in case we paid Boat and Jovi and not paid for it. Would you welcome from PRS, we love him, we love Stuart Fleming! Probably the first time I've played Muriel's like this year, but uh, <laughs> never mind. Um, yeah, as, as Muriel said, genuinely this country punches way above its weight in terms of your know, film and TV composers, and it's always a huge, huge pleasure to be part of this. And we've been five years, and not only the winners in this category over the last five years, but the other nominees have gone on to quite, some, quite considerable success. So all of you have been nominated tonight in this category, and well done. And you know. Keep, keep a look out for them in the future because these, these guys are amazing young composers. So let's see the nominees. The BAFTA Scotland New Talent Award is Atsu Muramatsu for the violinist. This is incredible. Uh, thank you very much, BAFTA Scotland. It's an honour to be here. I think it's the first time I've ever been in a podium like this one. So it's, it's great. Um, I'd like to thank, uh, first of all, uh, Sergio Mangas, who's the director of the film. He's sitting with me over there. And um, also the violinist who features also in the film and who also played the violin for the film. She's in a cruise ship somewhere in Italy, so she couldn't come today. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And uh, thank you so much. And I'd like to say one thing is that um, I th I'm great to be here in Scotland and taking part in, in amazing film work. And 
I think you have an amazing support network here in this country. For example, Stuart has helped me out on an occasion, and I just am very, very grateful. So thank you very much, and yeah, talks later after drinks. <laughs> Big composer made an effort, unlike Big Stuart, no time. <laughs> just, I'm just, just putting that out there, okay. Um, it's true about the support network, though, it's, it's becoming clear every year ago this. We've got a great support network. Make sure you've joined BAFTA and taken full advantage of it. Okay, fifth award for camera and photography. Again, you know, honestly, this, these are the people who are the men and women who take a long time. They take a long time and the light's not right and you have to wait for them like we're doing and then it is so beautiful and so exquisite that you can kiss them and you score out all the words you call them before. <laughs> so to uh, present the award, we have got a superstar tonight. We've got River City's finest. Of course he plays the ever popular character Robbie Fraser. It is Gary Lamont. Everybody, good evening. I'm going to focus on one because I know it's quite quiet at the back. Um, thank you so much for having me here tonight. Um, so much precedence is put on the actors, the actresses, the people in front of the camera. We take the awards, we take the accolades, or in my case, we meet the Jakeys in Sucky Hall Street who are pure heavy excited to see you, pal. But um, with, we would be nothing without the people behind the camera, the camera operators, the DOPs, and that's why I'm so excited to be here to present this award, because really we would be nothing without these people. So let's take a look at the nominees. Some bogart up from a crack in granite. And the BAFTA Scotland New Talent Award goes to Chris Kubik for Depper from the, we the Water of Lee. Thank you, Brad. Hi guys, uh, I would like to thank uh, uh, everyone actually, because <laughs> always people just like such and such, and obviously for crew, for my producer who's over there, uh, my family and everybody who support this project. This was really hard work over the year, the filming and the hide very, very 
uh, very bad conditions in uh, Scotland. People from Scotland know how bad weather can be, right? <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, thank you very much for that. And I know I'm just uh, walking the right path uh, because this means a lot for me. And uh, choosing, uh, especially wildlife filmmaking, uh, it was, you know, it's like my whole life. And really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, next award is for factual. Again, we punch above our weight in this. I should know, honestly. So this is honestly in Scotland, we do make the most brilliant documentary. We've got incredible, incredible um, history of making wonderful factual programmes to way back in the day. So it's no surprise that this year the talent is actually awesome as well. So um, this particular uh, award is sponsored by one of our uh, very successful independent companies, Raise the Roof Productions. And so to next winner, please welcome the creative director, director Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Today is my first uh, BAFTA New Talent Awards. I'll tell you what, it won't be my last. Oh. <laughs> I keep thinking, if this is a new talent, God, what, what have I been doing for 20 years? <laughs> um, but the category for Best Factual is just as strong as the previous, so let's look at the nominees. Oh, I never thought I'd see them again. And you went through all of these for addresses too, did you? Yes. Well done. Good and faithful servant. 66, this one. That's going back. Oh, that's a long time ago. Very nice. Oh, look. That's. Now, you should know who that is now. Who's who done that? You've kind of threw me off. All right, okay. You got the one you got. It's nice, isn't it? Aren't they lovely? I had a marvellous collection of post poster cards, and they're all gone. And these are just two of them. I think they're beautiful. The truth and the gospel may be suppressed for a time, but they will eventually and inevitably overcome. Ye would 500 years ago, a man was born who would change the face of Scotland forever. He defied the authorities. He defined a generation. He defeated a religion, and he brought a country to its knees. His name was John Knox, and this is his story. I didn't go to your funeral, but now I have to find you. Even though you're just a shadow, an outline I can never color back in. I still need a dad. You're not the one I wanted or the one I needed, but you're the only one I have. The Scotland New Talent Award goes to the third dad. Yeah. Very much, um, 
back to Scotland, um, yeah, I can still get a new talent award at the age of 39. <laughs> um, <laughs> Slip of the last. They still ID me at Tesla as well, so it's, it's good. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'd just like to say thank you to um, the Scottish Documentary Institute, um, Creative Scotland and Channel 4 for believing in this film and, um, and to my fantastic team who have been so patient with me and um, I've learned so much from them. My editor, Florian, um, my sound editor, um, sound designer, Douglas McDougall, um, Rick Antony, my composer, um, and so many other wonderful people on my team. Um, and I have to say a special thank you to um, Richard Warden, who's with me here tonight. Um, he didn't know that when he said yes to produce this film, he was going to uh, be working with a first-time director who's also a flimsy artist and, uh, <laughs> and a codependent one at that. <laughs> um, and, um, and happens to be his partner as well. So um, thank you for all your patience and your support, and I couldn't have done this without you. Um, and finally, thanks to my dad, who would have been 70 years old um, this year. Um, this one's for him. <laughs> thank you. Andrew's saying it's his first one, it might not be his last. <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Kidding. Um, that, that's a really good point. Uh, uh, new talent, you don't have to just be all gorgeous and young and tiny. Uh, new talent, you can make your first thing when you're 82 and you're eligible for this award. Huh, how crazy is that? Okay, next one is <laughs> entertainment. We are so good at entertainment. We have the best, funniest, most brilliant people ever anywhere in the world. And guess what? We've got one of them to present this award. It is the megastar, the legend. That is Robert Florence. I love uh, coming to the New Talent Awards because it brings me face to face with a room full of my enemies. <laughs> or the young team that want to take me out, that want to take my slot that I've worked 20 years for. I feel like Stone Cold Steve Austin going into the 1998 Royal Rumble. As a wee... Just bring it, right? Here are the nominees. How's that? Were you saying Matt Damon there? No, no, just demons. Not Matt Damon? No, no, no. <laughs> um, I'm getting slightly dizzy. It's all right, mate. It's all part of it. I can hear my teeth. I got demons! Is it normal that my head is on fire? My head feels on fire. Anyway, uh, come in to some severe stress sauce for your car. I've got lavender, mint, strawberry, and uh, bamba. Does it bind smell like? Bumble. No thanks. And the BAFTA Scotland New Talent Award goes to Paperclip. So I didn't, 
do the speech thing you said to do yeah, because I yeah, didn't do the... <laughs> ah. I'm also 39, so, Teresa, it's OK. You're not the only one. Um, I feel like the guy from that high school in Bear's Den who went back to do his exams and lied. Um, <laughs> and then, but I didn't get caught. Um, oh, th thanks for laughing, Muriel. Wasn't expecting that. I'm going to say thank you to Mum and Dad, who are in the back somewhere. Hi! Uh, that was Mum. To Colin for doing cinematography and making it all look gorgeous. And to my beautiful wife, Dallas. And finally, when you see the clip at the context, it looked like a weird art house film, but it's actually very funny when you see the whole film. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm off. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>
very strong category, as those even those short clips uh, will tell you. But there can only be one winner, and that winner is the armadillo and the earwig. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm nervous. Um, <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much. It's a massive honor. Um, I guess I'd like to thank uh, my school. I'd like to thank uh, I'd like Scott McHenry for making the uh, exhibition that I made this for, which I would, wouldn't have made it without. And uh, I'm just kind of flabbergasted, really. Thanks so much. Uh, that's probably everything. <laughs> <laughs> City. And you go here in time. We love Sanjeev. Okay, this next award is for writer. Okay, writer. Not that I'm, you know, bitter or anything about all the other categories, anyway, but if it wasn't for the writer, there'd be no story. You wouldn't be able to edit it or design it or anything. <clears throat> it's just that they get forgotten a lot. Okay, that's right. Not, nothing personal at all. This is our ninth award of the evening, and it is very exciting to me because I am. Did you guess? that I'm a, a writer. Did you guess that? OK, um, we have fabulous writers. The nominations this year are absolutely brilliant. And uh, this category is supported by Creative Scotland, which is a wonderful organisation, really wonderful. And to present it, please welcome the woman nobody else would take this job, but she has, Jenna Archer. <laughs> 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 It's a real treat and a joy and a real honour to be here this evening to share this fantastic array of talent. Scotland's talent is just amazing. I've got a job that takes me across Scotland and I meet people and I see people who are producing the most extraordinary things in the most amazing, amazing ways. And I have to say tonight's been a real highlight in all of that. And there's some, some brilliant, I'm supposed to hide this, some brilliant, brilliant things going on. So my screen team has given me, have given me some words, my great screen team have given me some words to say to you. Um, we're really proud that Creative Scotland's strategy, Creative Scotland on Screen, commits to delivering greater support for writers and script development. And along with a series of other measures, sponsoring this category, category of the BAFTA New Talent Awards underlines our commitment to supporting and celebrating writers at every stage of their careers. So let's look at the nominees. Pure electronic cash is that's all the same to me. Alright. You know she's okay with it, eh? She's uh, she's not aware of this moment. Tom, what's the matter you know just getting a job? Do you think there's jobs around here for fella heads like me? All you need to do is watch the door. Like a monkey could do it. Well get a monkey then. I wouldn't be asking if I didn't think it was work. Let's confuse the address. No, uh, it says, Hi Charlotte, I'll be away, but she'll be back at the end of next week. No worries, you can stay on my couch as long as you like. The address, one more time, is 28 East Fountain Bridge, flat 8. See you there, Yogi. This is flat 8, right? Right. Are you Yogi? No, Yogi? N no, he... He's not here. He he's away. He went to to Yellowstone, you know. Yeah. I'm really busy. Sorry. Bye. Good luck. Look, look, Danny. Would you wipe that off your face, please? You're working late tonight. The usual. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Danny, would you stop annoying your brother, please? Daddy. What did I just tell you? Where are you going? School. Would you want to lift down? Nah, I'm fine on the bus, thanks. Right. Well, I'll see you tonight then. It's, uh, it's Tuesday, so I'm gonna go to 
Da. Ali. And the winner is Mikhail Yogiak, the Yogi. Uh, I didn't expect anything like that to happen. Uh, you have to speak into the mic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like this, so they can hear you back there. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, so, this time I would like to say sorry for people who actually had to write it, because my probably it was kind of my broken English. Um, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm just, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's amazing. He's chucking them up. That's two in a row. Brilliant. Okay, now we come to the acting awards. We're the first awards is for acting performance male. Um, we all know how important this is, and I'm going to resist jokes about actors and actresses. I had some earlier, and I've read the room, and I've decided not to do it. <laughs> so, just decided to remind us that we are awesome in acting in Scotland. You know it. McAvoy, Capaldi, I don't need to go through the names, but if they're Scottish, they're going to be brilliant, aren't they? If they come from this industry. You don't have to be Scottish, but you know what I mean. Sorry, Janet. Um, okay, so to give this award, which is supported by uh, the production company The Woven Thread, which is wonderful, uh, to present that as the director of the company, uh, still game director Michael Hines, and also actor Gavin Mitchell, who sat in the jury. So blame him. He's <laughs> before we start, on uh, behalf of BAFTA and myself, of course, a massive crush, uh, a huge thanks uh, to the perennial talent that is the one and only Miss Muriel Grayley. Woo! <laughs> I'll now leave you in the fine hands of Mr Michael Hines and go for a footer. <laughs> It's not the same suit. I thought it was a jacket and shit. Anyway. No, no, I just get some glue and ran through a second hand shop and this is what stuck to me. <laughs> he's a bit mad because he's had root canal work today. I'm not making that up, so he's probably on drugs. Mm. <laughs> that wasn't anything to do with root canal. <laughs> um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Gav and I were talking earlier that when we're in the old folks' home, if the telly's pish, it's your fault. <laughs> All right. So, uh, nights like this are enormously important because we want you guys to realise you're not alone. And in the drinks afterwards, the best suggestion we can give you is leave your egos in here and go and talk to other people you've seen tonight and tell them how well they did. Because no one ever gets to do that to you lot, and I think it's really important. So I think nights like these is for you guys to remember, actually, you've done something really brilliant, and you should be extremely proud of that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, I'd like to back that up, but a wee bit like Robert Florence, it's, it's awfully hard to sit and watch pieces and people kind of nipping at your heels, ready to take your work, you know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, you'll notice there's no drink allowed in this room. That's for a reason. One, I drink what a fish, and two, I'll stab you whoever wins this. Let's have a look at nominations. Idea for us all to get together at your flat and see if we can get to the bottom of this. No, one way or the other. Oh, so. no, no, I don't, I don't want her there. I don't want anyone in the flat. 
Come on, Charlotte, you love having people in the flat. Listen, if it's a nice day, we should go to the garden. I don't right? want anyone in the flat. I don't want anyone in the flat. Right. No, I don't oh, want anyone! Hey, hey. no. It's fine. You're okay. You're okay. 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 It's fine. It's alright. Hi. Oh. Hurry. Give me that stupid wee box. You put the fuck. Hurry up. Hurry up. Give me it. What is this shit anyway? Hey. What is this? What is this? What is this? Tell me about when I was wee. You're still wee. We used to call you the frog, because of your legs and your face. Gav would like to apologise for that outburst and he's now going to make him read the winner. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is Daniel Cameron for I Am Me. This is all right, isn't it? <laughs> is that microphone okay? Okay. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Bath to Scotland. Um, this, film, um, this film would not have happened without two extremely important people, um, one of whom is Jenny Mason, who wrote and directed the film. And the second is to Grant Mason, who did the amazing cinematography on the film. Um, to the cast, and crew of the film, small as it was, we had three weeks. Um, <laughs> but what a three weeks it was. Um, everyone at Pace Theatre Company, everyone at the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland, Woo! my mum and dad. <laughs> um, and I just want to say this is about disability hate crime. This film is, uh, if you've seen it, you'll know that. Um, I'd finally like to dedicate this to my late Anne Francis. I say her name because Francis couldn't talk. She had cerebral palsy, she was confined to a wheelchair um, for all of her life. And what we wanted to do with this film was to say that everyone who has a disability, and you probably know them, um, you have a voice. And this film is a, it's a drop in the ocean, but let's just hope it keeps rippling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Film. It is. It's not just a beautiful film. It's a really, really important film. That performance in it was tremendous. But honestly, I can't. I can't recommend it to you highly enough. Um, next one is for actor performance female. Again, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, um, cornucopia of talent uh, this year. And to present this award, we've invited back a former recipient of this exact category of the New Talent Awards from River City. Unsurprisingly, would you welcome Hannah Stanbridge? <laughs> Dress was lovely, as I say, guys. <laughs> as I say, but I can't turn in it because someone might peek out a bit like Janet Jackson. So, anyway, um, I am 
completely honoured to be invited back here to be in a room full of the future of British and Scottish and beyond talent. It's really exciting. Um, and whether you are winners, just to be nominated, it's fantastic. You're all a talent. And also, just remember, there is a free bar afterwards. <laughs> and I am not working tomorrow, so you better get there quick. OK, let's take a look at the nominees. You can be whatever you want. to stay out here? Not anymore. I'm Jen. Rob. It's always important to make new friends at Christmas. Really? Especially when you drop a few. You talk a lot, don't you? <laughs> I suppose I do. to Sarah Miele for a grim story. BAFTA Scotland. Uh, thank you to Emma, the writer, for writing such a wonderful story and a wonderful character. Uh, thank you to Emma, to Jill and to Siri for letting me play her and for all the amazing cast and crew who this is a uh, testament to all their really, really hard work on this film. Uh, thank you to my mum and dad and my boyfriend who are here. Hello. Um, <laughs> and uh, congratulations to all the other nominees tonight who uh, totally deserve to be signed up here as well. It's a real privilege to be here. So uh, thank you very much. <laughs> I know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna remind you because I, I, I know someone has to win, but you're all honestly amazing. You're still all BAFTA nominees for your first piece of work. So it's just great. That's an incredible film as well, you have to see it. And um, drama, drama, of course. Um, our next category is supported by the fabulous Tunnocks. Tonics takings! <laughs> there can never be enough new work coming through. There's never enough tonics and everything. So it's a huge category for us again. It's absolutely brilliant. Loads and loads of entries in this, so quality was incredibly high. 
Uh, to present this award, I have to calm down a bit because to present this award to somebody who actually makes my heart beat a little bit faster because they're a huge international superstar. <laughs> somebody who has been in Game of Thrones, Prometheus, blah, blah, blah. We went to it. She's here. Kate Dickey is here. <laughs> Make sure I've got this. Hi everyone, it's lovely to be here tonight and um, just celebrate with you all. And uh, I was just watching all and thinking how nice in an industry that's as competitive as ours, that's got so much love and support and will for people to do well. We're lucky because I can't really think of other industries that's so competitive and difficult and, and yet we all support each other and wish each other well. And Dentistry. I forgot about dentistry, but apart from dentistry, <laughs> but no, it's, it's, it, it is, it's really lovely and I, and I hope I didn't get my stuff from ASOS, um, <laughs> but I hope you all feel welcomed into this sort of community and it's miserable old existence at times when you're sitting at home either waiting for work, trying to get funding, trying to make work. And um, things like this is just lovely to give you a boost, to give you something that just makes you stand out. So congratulations to all the nominees. And I will... <laughs> and um, I'll stop yapping and get on with it. So here are the nominees for the drama category. Sorry, I missed it. Don't worry. When's dinner? We've already had it. Is this in the fridge again? No. The BAFTA Scotland New Talent Award in the drama category goes to Hula. Thank you so much, BAFTA. 
Um, I would like to thank every single person that worked on this film uh, to make it possible. Everyone's been amazing. Um, I would especially like to thank, and it goes without saying, Blythe Duff, who gave her talent and who gave her time so generously and became the face of Hula. Um, I would also like to thank my mum, because she's here. <laughs> and I would like to thank uh, the DOP Graham, because he's, he's here as well, and Screen Academy Scotland. And I think that's it. Uh, over to Lindsay. <laughs> Thank you, BAFTA. You've made my day, you've made my month, and you've made my year. <laughs> um, thank you, Robin, for coming to me with this heartfelt story about women and for trusting me to help you make it a reality. Thank you, Blythe Duff. You are legendary. Thank you to our wonderful cast, Fiona O, oh, who is out there, Ian, Nalini, Fiona, again, Anna and Kern, and our talented crew, Graham, Lucy, I want to name them all, but I won't bore you <laughs> any <Go> further, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Special thanks go to our generous sponsors, and of course, the village of Dorney and its patient and welcoming inhabitants. Very special thanks go to Susan Haig, who was bonkers enough to let us film in her house. Um, <laughs> yeah, Robin's mum. And very, very special thanks go to Moira and Keith. Thank you. Um, okay, let's bring us to the final award of this evening. Um, it's called Best New Work, and this is the fifth year that this award has been sponsored by Channel 4 Nations and Regions. Basically, if you know what Crofts is like, it's basically all the winners go forward to a separate jury called the Best New Work jury, and they decide which one to get the award from the winners. Um, and Nations and Regions and Channel 4 really want to impress upon you, and they mean this, this is not just empty rhetoric, that you are it, that they are so desperate and willing to commission new works from brand new people to the industry and to mentor you and to see what you've got to do. So take this really seriously. I mean, if you've got anything, please use them. They are absolutely brilliant. They're diamond geezers, and they mean it. And because this is quite a special award, um, uh, we had a kind of, you know, well, who, who can get to you know, present this space new award? So we kind of always try and set the bar a little bit high, but you know, you can't set it that high we've already had Kate Dickie on. <laughs> so we think, well, imagine you could get someone like, say, like their first film was, I don't know, as good as Shallow Grave or Train Spotting or something. And just imagine they went on to make, you know, Oscar winning films like Slumdog Millionaire or you know, won an Oscar for that, or did Steve Jobs, or even imagine this, imagine you someone who actually directed the opening ceremony for the Olympics and got the Queen to jump out of a helicopter. And, I know, because that would be ridiculous, because that would always be Danny Boyle! <laughs> That was, uh, no, that was, that was, um, thanks for that. That was, uh, oh, no. that was so over the top. Um, you'd think it was Sean Connery coming up here. Anyway, um, I, I'm really delighted to be here, absolutely. I actually owe her a great deal, actually. Because when we first did Train Spotting, when, when it was first coming out, we got slagged off quite a lot, especially by Barry Norman, I remember, who hadn't seen the film, but decided it was a very irresponsible film promoting drug use and stuff like that. And I remember, and it was weird releasing it, because it's weird, those of you who've released films, you'll know there's always a point where you think, is this going to work or not going to work? And it was like a tipping point. And she wrote an article in the Evening Standard, basically saying why it was important that films like this were made. Did I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> And it, was a, 
And it was a tipping point. You know that, that Ma Malcolm Gladwell book? That, it was a tipping point. You could Aww. feel it. It changed. Aww. So she's really... But anyway, and she's still here promoting new work, which is a tribute to him. Really. So, anyway... Um, they, said, they, um, they said to say something about being back in Scotland, because we're here making a new film, T2. And, um, <laughs> and uh, I passed myself off as a Scotsman for about four years. I got away with it. <laughs> everywhere except Scotland. Well, anywhere outside the UK, I turned, they said, they you know, I was Scottish, and I passed myself off as Scottish. And uh, 18 years late, later, we're back, I'm back again to try and do the same thing. Um, uh, they told me to say something about success, really, and, and, you know, because it is an extraordinary achievement that you're all here, all the nominees. But what I would say is the, 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 the only definition that really matters about success is that you go from failure to failure without any loss of enthusiasm. That is a great saying, whoever came up with that. Um, and, the, and, the, uh, and, the, and then... And then they said to, to say something, and I couldn't think of anything to say about new talent, except that somebody told me that every day, 250 million people are added to the world's population. And I was like, no, 250,000, like, surely. But no, somebody said it was two, it can't be 250 million. Anyway, it's a huge amount of people are added every day to the world's population. And as far as we know, from everything we know about them, they'll all be transfixed by a great story. And they're yours to tell that story to. Anyway, and the winner of the best new work is... The name comes out. It is Chris Kubik for Dipper from the Water of Leaf. Fiancé said that you have to prepare for a speech. You have to prepare for a speech. Oh, come on. I don't have to. Yeah, she believes in me. But I don't. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so I'm not prepared at all. Actually, I should expect that, <laughs> maybe. But anyway, uh, it's really great honor. And, uh, you know, there's no word to say. It was like four years ago, uh, when I was starting studying film, I was always, always dreamed about just studying film, uh, and especially focusing on the wildlife productions and, and so on. And now, now when I was started, and then now when I was just like year after, and just just won these awards, and it's like uh, you know, dreams come true, and it's tr real dreams come true. And you know, it's like as you said. You know, it's like with this enthusiasm, you know, it's like they spend time and, and effort, you know, in a very, very uh, difficult situation sometimes and never give up, you know, so because if you give up, you, 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 you'll lose, you know, it's like even if you not w win, you know, it's like never give up, just I think this is the most important, you know, it's like in every, every situation in life, but, you know, it's like in film, I feel it really, really profound at the moment, so thank you very much for that. year in a hide, a whole year, just that, so he doesn't have many friends left, but he's one <laughs> best <year> one. <laughs> Never got the money show either, the stoat didn't eat the bloody birds around. <laughs> that was Danny Boyle, okay. Oh, <laughs> I mentioned the Danny Boyles here. Okay, um, that 
that's the end of tonight's ceremony. It was by no means the end of the evening, because behind that curtain, there's a free bar. <laughs> OK. Um, I just really want to say thank you to absolutely everybody. The, the, obviously, the people saying thank you to are you. Honestly, you are just incredible. The standard of this just, just blows everybody away year on year. And remember, you are all BAFTA nominees, and you will be for the rest of your life for your first piece of work. So remember all us old people when you're in charge. Actually, just always be nice to everybody on the way up. That's the big guy, because you'll meet again on the way around. OK, <laughs> uh, uh, QED, OK? <laughs> so um, could I just say one last piece of housekeeping? Could all the winners please come to the front of the station and get your photographs taken? Everybody else, do exactly what everyone said tonight. Mingle, talk amongst yourselves, meet new friends, make new contacts. And the most important thing is to go away feeling so proud of yourself for having contributed not just to this industry, but exactly as Danny said there, to the great big storytelling life that makes Humanity, what it is, that's you. Thank you very much. Go and get drunk.